If you want to learn how to shorten a cable for a Cyber Power 1U rack power strip, then watch this video. Hey, Gary Cruz with AmazeStudios.com, and I was always carrying an extra power strip along with my ATEM Mini Extreme ISO rack. And I figured, why don't I just install a 1U power strip? What I like about this one is that there are extra outlets on the back as well as the front, and this can act as my auxiliary power for the additional things that I may optionally need for my ATEM rack. The only problem is that the cord was extremely long. So here is my attempt at trying to disassemble and get to the inside. So I'm thinking that I can cut the cords in the bottom left to shorten the wires. But there was this grommet that was stuck in there and I felt like if I was to take it out, you can see it right there on the left on the cable. If I was to take that out, I might break it. And it just seemed like it was much more trouble than it was worth. So I bought this this connector on Amazon and I was able to shorten it on the other end. So long story short, no need to uh, open up the power strip. You can just cut off the wires. I'm no electrician, but make sure you have the appropriate wires connected. So make sure the ground is on the ground, which is typically green. And then I also used my tools to determine which one was the hot. Uh, usually that is the black. And so once I put everything together, I just screwed it all together, put in the grommet, made sure I had power and ground, which looks good on this end. So on the top, you can see I have a Furman power supply that doesn't have any power in the back. And then as I put in this power supply for the cyber power, it not only has plugs on the inside, but out the out, as well as the outside. Here I'm checking the polarity, making sure everything looks good and matches everything else within my rack. And that looks correct. So if you found this useful, definitely hit like and subscribe on the way out. Thanks for watching.